Hey guys, welcome back to our Darkest Dungeon Crimson Court playthrough. We just went to the Warrens again. We've been hanging out there quite a bit, and we're going back. We're gonna go say hello to a little piggy. Weird. My Warrens is almost level 7. Like, or it's almost level 8, sorry. Oh dang. My ruins... I've been spending way too much time there. <laughs> it's good, dude. There's so many ways to remove... To purge perks there, negative perks. Uh, wait, did I say ruins? I meant warrens. Yeah, the warrens has that too. Yeah, yeah. So, all right, so well, we're. I have a lot of bleed people, so it's like I don't oh. ever go to the ruins or cove. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Not enough crusaders. Okay, so we're gonna go tackle the swine prince. Uh, it's a medium dungeon. It's apprentice level. We will unlock the sanguine snuff, which is. a Apparently a good item if you have the Crimson Curse Bloodlust. Gives extra crit chance and dodge. Lots of dodge. Uh, we got crests, portraits, and some gold. We recently upgraded our first blueprint building, which is one of the new features. I can't click it right now. Let me go back. Bank is done. So this will get us another deed, and we can decide what we're focusing on next. Not a deed, I'm sorry. A blueprint. So we've got... We haven't itemized our people yet. Oh, okay, well, I knew I forgot something. Okay, so we're not going to be jumping quite into the action right off the bat. We'll sort by rarity. Uh, Heaven's hairpin for sure on the Hellion. That is, oh, I forgot already. I have to click super slow because I'm on my laptop. Heaven's hairpin. So we're going to be taking a little bit of extra stress. Forgot what we used with her last time. We didn't take her last time. Okay. Okay. But I guess let's take the bleed amulet. So we want to get. We want to ensure. Not the bleed amulet. You know what I'm talking about. Where is it? Where are you? Bleed. Oh, it is the bleed amulet. Okay, so that's going to decrease our dodge a little bit. I'm okay with that. I think. We'll find out. Might change my tune. Eh. Let's go for it. Not too worried. On our leper, we're going to be taking the sun ring for the accuracy. And the leper specific healing trinket. Did we set your skills? We didn't set your skills. I have to remember to do that before. With the Arbalest, we are going to be taking Healing Greaves. I guess we can switch these two for the extra accuracy. But minus speed. That's okay. Goodness gracious, please, would you let me click my... Okay. Occultist. We could stack dodge on Occultist. Or we could go with some healing stuff. We don't have any healing stuff that's not going to cause insane amounts of stress. So we'll definitely do the debuff skill chance because we want to make sure that our weakening curse lands. And we'll go ahead and bring the camouflage cloak, I think, is the right call here. 15 dodge versus 10 dodge. Yeah, we're going to take the camouflage cloak. We're opening ourselves up to a little bit of stun... Um, and our heal is not that great, but I think we're going to be okay with this setup. So now before I forget, I have to go here, get rid of this. We're going to not take revenge, we're going to take intimidate instead. Oh dear, okay. So I have to be in rank 1. Let's see how, mu how badly that messes with our system. Okay, not too badly, we don't care about bleed out. Yop, if it bleeds, that's fine, this will work just fine. Okay. Um, and you still can do all your skills. All the important ones. Weakening Curse, Weird Reconstruction. You want to be in the fourth lane. I think we're ready to go. And we are absolutely not going to take any uh, shortcuts here. We're going to go ahead and grab this many torches. This many. This many. Take some keys. Take three shovels. Um, we'll go ahead and take three holy water. 
some extra herbs, and these. <laughs> Shovels, torches, food. We're good. Let's go. I just had, like, the a horrible feeling that I forgot something. Are difficult to but master. I think we're good. For me, it's Those usually shovels. I'll get there and I'm like, oh, fuck, I forgot all this shit. Oh, shit, I need the to plug in my phone and get back on is Twitch chat. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Rot row. Okay, Dude, the um, oh, the the man at arms when you get him a set bonus. Dang, that that extra re repost damage is really strong. I um was running him doing that and uh, plague doctor uh -huh. with the with the damage buff, and he was getting like twenty five damage crits on repost. So he's like one shotting people what? for hitting with... him. Like that's so strong. Yeah, I was like, cool, if they just want to keep killing themselves against his shield, that's fine with me. <laughs> like, Yeah. Take take what you can get. Seriously. Take nothing back. Um, Brittany, I don't know if you're still here. Best of luck, you're not still here. Okay. <laughs> Best of luck on PUBG. Wow. And Jaime, I'm glad that your week six was easy. And, and then your voice isn't cracking. Sean, were you going to say something? Hmm? No, I was just going to talk shit. It oh, okay. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah, you know, nothing nothing big. Okay, so we're going to be... The boss is going to be in this corner. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah. God, could you just not? Okay. Extra supplies are found among the knives. Great. Yep, go ahead and take that torch. What could go wrong, right? Yeah, let's go. Trinkets and baubles. So we got a compulsive Paid Mortain here. Blood. Right off the bat. No battle. We got a scouting proc, which is great. And a secret door. Excellent. So we're gonna go ahead and bust through this wall. Such blockages are unsurprising. We'll come back for the for the secret the stash. Settlers. Dude, my Hellion is just taking for everything. Fortune. I mean, she's not actually taking it, but she's unlocking every curio. Oh, yeah. Surprise, curious. That one's really annoying. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and try and pull this little weasel up to the front. Come on over here, buddy. And dunk him. Awesome. Okay. 32 crit on Leper. Thank you. Just absolutely melted. We'll get rid of this guy's dodge. Uh, no, let's just try and kill him. We have good accurate. We have really great accuracy on the Arbalest, so we know we can kill that guy. Probably without needing to mark him. The birthplace of dread. Oh, I should have taken more bandages because we are using a cultist instead of instead of uh Vestal. Vestal. Oh, please tell me I bought a key. Yes, I did. Fuck yeah. Got another secret room. We're gonna drop a weakening curse on this guy. Just because I think it's probably better than healing at this point. Go ahead and finish you off. Once you get the once you get the set bonus, you can actually run like a cultist and vestal because the vestal gets like combat stats from her set bonus, and that would allow you to, um, you know, have her towards the front, just dealing it's still not great damage, but you know, better than before. Meanwhile, like he can do all the single target healing, and she can take care of the like blanket healing from her position up front. Right. Battle cleric. Mm hmm Okay, so we got a we found an overture box. We found a very rare item. 
from that battle, which is awesome. And it's actually a pretty good item, too. Good for uh, dodge tank, I guess. Or just HP tank, kind of. It's a little bit weird. So we're going to get rid of the citrine. Take the page. Just because... And then really? This, yeah. You're getting rid of gold to, to take two hundred fifty more gold. items. Yeah. Well, you think two hundred fifty times five oh, percent of I, I get it. I get it. Compound interest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we don't like fangophobia at all. It's very bad with what. So we're gonna we're gonna have Evelyn do the one in three chance. Please remove fangophobia. Diurnal, son of a... Okay, well, now it's going to be 50-50 next time. So we'll go to the... We'll go to the Curio first, because the Curio... Treasure's great, but... Treasure's treasure. Oh, shit. Okay, now we need to get rid of something. We'll keep the bandages. We'll get rid of the anti-venom. Take the portrait. Um... The reason I'm going to the Curio is it could be a buff that gives us something until we camp, and if we are able to go fight the boss immediately, then that would be great. It's not. It's a dining table. It's food. Great. Thank you. Okay, we'll try and bring you to the front. Oh, a critical pull. It's good for stress chain. He's going to get stunned if he doesn't dodge it. Thankfully, we have high dodge. I don't know how, how much HP the the Swine Prince has, but it's a fair amount. Eradicated. Eradicated. Hmm. I just got an item I've never gotten before. A Jute Tapestry. A coarse, time-worn weaving bearing invocations of unutterable alienage. And it's worth 4,500 gold. But it has no, like, effect that I can see. Interesting. Weird. I've never seen that before. Okay. We're gonna go for the hue so we can get rid of this corpse. Because I think we're gonna be able to kill... Yep, I was right. Alright, so two for one. It was a bit of a gamble. Ugh, vomiting on my stressed out guy. Andre, he has a lot, and that's like... <laughs> yeah. We'll finish off this little, little guy. Oh, crit on the Arbalest. No thank you. Okay, so we're probably gonna camp before we go fight, because this is too much. Too much damage for my taste, and too much stress to take on a boss. Okay, let me go first. Let me go first. No! Fucker. Okay, now we can justify using a weird heal on this. We're gonna also use a bandage. So buy us time maybe to get our occultist next. Weird heal for nine. I love it. And no bleed. Let's call this one... Good. How long does that last? Okay, let's just go. This advantage. Give them no quarter. Oh boy. Okay. So now we use the light, that torch. The promise grab of the agility talon. We can't take these. So we get rid of the other bandage. We take the deeds. And... Now we use holy water, take the crests, we use medicinal herbs, get some food, get some gold, nice. The flow. So now we know where the, the we're about to go fight corruption. the boss, so um, let's see. Let's check our camping skills first. Bloody Shroud is okay. Reflection is going to be good. We definitely want to do that before we camp. Or before we fight. And then... 
Um, battle trance is good. But no, it's not, because he needs to be in... She needs to be in position one, so we won't be doing that. Um, dark ritual we don't need to do. We can do dark strength. Although that's a lot of stress. We'll do marching plan for sure, and possibly restring crossbow. Probably restring crossbow. So we're going to go ahead and camp right here. Circle we'll need as much food as we can. The battle may yet be won. Okay, we're healed up. Um, we don't even have any stress-reducing stuff. Okay. And we don't have a way to prevent a midnight ambush, so we're... This is not great. I did not think about that. So we'll do reflection. We'll do... What? Bill didn't think through dangers to his party? No. <laughs> it can't be. Restring crossbow. Now we can either do dark strength to make our cultist extremely stressed out, or we can do... Pep talk on our occultist to reduce his stress. I think we just go with the pep talk. The dark strength would be great, but we're putting a lot of eggs in one basket. So let's just go with the safe bet on this one. We've got one point left to spend, so we weren't perfectly efficient. That's okay. We don't have anything to spend it on. Yep, we're doing a boss fight, Jaime. We're doing Swine Prince. Here we go. We're going to walk through the hall. Okay, definitely not doing that. Trying to give me a shambler right before I go fight a boss. <laughs> kidding me. Don't... Don't even... It's your warm-up, it's your warm -up, boss. Seriously. Decimated. Never felt so insulted in my life. The very idea. <laughs> oh, God, and he munches. Oh, okay, good. Good dodge. Good dodge. Ugh. Nailed it. Okay. We're ready. We're ready for this. Here goes. We're prepared. We've done our buffs. It is a travesty, a blundering mountain of hatred and rage. Oh boy. He has 132 health. So there you go. There's your answer, Andre. Start stacking our bleeds. Start stacking the bleeds. I'm gonna weaken him. And we're going to intimidate him as well. We're already marked, so it doesn't matter. Um, and we're going to give him even less damage. Okay. We're going to mark him with this as well. It doesn't do anything to him because he has zero dodge in terms of its actual debuff, but it's going to give us 50% extra damage for every time we hit him and extra chance to crit. And it lasts for some time. I don't remember how long. Long enough to pay off. Three rounds. So we're going to go ahead and intimidate him one more time, I think, and then we're going to start whomping on him. Maybe that doesn't stack. I'm, I'm, hard, it's, I'm having a hard time telling if it stacks or not. Okay, we'll weaken him again. It's a crit, so I think that means it just lasts longer. So he's doing almost no damage now. Oh, gosh, but it still hurts. Yeah, you got to get, like... Should be 24-7 on your occultist and uh, leper, and then just stack some bleeds on him, which you didn't bring, because why would you? Yeah, I um, did. I brought if uh, it bleeds. I, I, uh, it's like the worst one. It's not that bad. Oh, wait. If it bleeds is two points for three rounds. 
Which... Is that the one that shows, like, a bandage, or is that the oh. one that shows... Okay, yeah, no, then never Yeah, that's a good one. Bleed it out, that's the bad one. Yeah, yeah. bleed out is... Okay, so he's at minus 100 now. We're just gonna keep throwing these on him, because we don't... We don't want him doing any damage. One of them might expire on his turn. Yep, it did. Oh my gosh. My, uh... This is not good. We're gonna throw a battlefield bandage on her. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Oh gosh. We might actually still get on death's door from this. Intimidate him again. We're gonna weird reconstruction. That was absolutely not worth it. Should have just kept stacking it. Ugh. I think we just keep healing with Battlefield Bandage for now. So that we can keep her alive. Especially since his... Oh god! He hit a crit on her. She's at one health. Thankfully not Death Story yet. <laughs> but this is looking very bad. Holy shit. Okay, now she's on now on Death's Door. Okay, we have to weakening curse. We're gonna battlefield bandage. We're gonna intimidate. It's a crit, that's good. And then I hope my Arbalist comes before him. I don't think she will. This might be it. This might be it for my Hellion Mortane. Okay, battlefield bandage. Let's go. Holy sh shite. Okay, he's... They're both gonna be on death's door. Oh my god, he crit her again! Oh my... I've got my two frontliners at death's door. Okay, we're gonna have to play smart. Oh my god, and he's... They're just gonna die! Death blow on my... On my, uh... So his mark actually kills people off. So, they killed my... Uh, leper. That's the first loss we've taken so far. We're gonna go ahead and throw this on him. Throw a ban battlefield bandage to get her off death store for now. And then if it bleeds, and this should be the win right here. But that was a costly price to pay. Thing is even more horrible in death. action cannot come soon enough. I think the better thing to do is to bring Flair and just clear clear his um his mark every time. I think that's way better than trying to cuz his he did so much damage. See, I didn't bring I didn't bring a Hellion when I did that. I brought like a uh like my frontliners were like uh like a leper and like I think even a man at arms and so uh -huh. I just gave them a, and I just stacked tons of prot on them and then they were taking very little damage and it was enough for me to heal through it okay um but yeah i see your point that would have also like it's, i like it's to bring wave. adrenaline rush on the the hellion just because it gives her that self-heal to get her off of death's door if it's a bad time and then also you get the um you know uh more damage which is good yeah Oof. To perform beyond one's limits. All right, so we gotta we gotta carry our trinkets back, which means we're probably gonna be done with this run relatively quickly. I would have liked to stick around. Okay, so we want the sun ring. We want. Uh, we're gonna eat some food. We don't have much use for food right now. Yeah, dude, flare flare would be so much better because we had him. I had him at negative 130, and when he mm -hmm. did when he did obliterate these two. It still was doing um, like nine damage, and a crit was like fourteen or fifteen. Mm. So that was that was not good. Were you a you were able to get him to do it zero damage to you? No, not zero, but enough where I could heal through it. Okay. Like I was doing about that, but remember that I'd stack prod on my guys, so like they okay. were taking less per per hit, and um, yeah. And I was just like, 
I I would run. Um, I actually only did it with the occultist. I didn't even have an intimidate. Uh huh. But I had the the self heal and the prot buff from the uh, leper. So he was basically just taking it and then like self healing and self protecting and then, like you know, it really helped me chug through the damage. And then I just got to the point where it was like he would hit the leper and then the leper would heal and then I could just spend the rest of the time hitting the the dude. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go back this way. Mm. We're gonna try oh my god. Okay, thank goodness. My Hellion just walked up to a Shambler altar and touched it. <laughs> like, compulsively. Um. I don't even remember what... I don't remember what the leper had for skills. I think we can look it up in the graveyard. But you had like the light gains intimidate, Q, No, I don't. I don't mean those. Those made are easier. Oh, to you mean by. like like yeah, uh, positive. Course. Yep. Oh my God, we hit collector with three party members. <laughs> A wise general. Okay, we Why are you still going? You killed the boss. Because I want to get the. I want to get the um secret treasure door. Okay. You so, have yourself to blame for this, then. So, we can't, because the Collector's gonna be in the next fight. We're afflicted. There's no way to get to that secret door without... Um... Without... Fighting a battle, so... Alright. So, this Occultist is getting thrown to the wolves when we get back to town. <laughs> Quest complete. Just send him to the... Mm. Yep. You're done. You're dead to me. Okay, dead so to rights. we got 4,500 gold plus barely any, but that's because we ditched a lot of our money to grab items, trinkets that we can either sell off or um, use. So we got a we got a couple heirlooms. Nothing to write home about. Sanguine snuff, and the big take on this one is Osmont, our leper has died, and Bostel's not going to be far behind, because I'm going <laughs> to send him out to live with the rats. To go to go hang himself in the fucking Seriously. bathroom. Like. And Evelyn just got slow reflexes, but she's pretty good, if I remember correctly, so we're going to get rid of that right away. So that was, um, that was our first death. I think I've said that several times. Feels bad. I'm feeling a lot of mixed emotions right now. Well, we've got a what graveyard. What are the mixed form. ones? Like <laughs> happiness that we killed yeah. the swine prince. Mhm. Mm and then a crippling depression. Yeah. The likes of which I, I have thought crippling impossible. depression. Okay. So, first things first, we want to go to the sanitarium. We want to look at Sort by activity. Scroll back up. Oh, she's a level three now. That's why she's not in the party. Okay, sort by level. Evelyn. What do you have? You have like the yips or something. Tetanus. Okay, well, we'll get loving, rid of that. Well, loving like your leper gets the yips and you're like, well, you're dead. Like, you're, you're gone. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're too. Unredeemable. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Bostel's, Bostel's, he's got Lethargy, but he's quick draw, so they cancel out for the first round, but after that he has minus four speed, and he's masochistic, and he did not do his job <laughs> that last fight, because apparently the Swine Prince doesn't deal damage, but I sure felt it. <laughs> I mean, deal doesn't deal as much damage. But, but if it's minus 130 damage, Dam percent damage. Be Shouldn't they do zero? Yeah, I think that that's like a modifier. Instead, it's like it's like minus 100% bonus damage. I think that there's like a base damage value that they can't. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, maybe, but I don't because, think so. Because it doesn't make sense, like that they would be able to hit 100 and then not die, like or just not do zero, but. Okay, Osmont, we put money into him by buying his sword. 
that was 750. And I don't think we did much else. He had Warrior of Light, which is plus damage if Torch above 75, so that was good. And the Eldritch Hater is also good, but he didn't have accuracy or anything to tank with, so he'll be missed, but it's not the end of the world. Wow. Don't fucking, uh, don't cry too many tears, like. <laughs> Ooh, we've got a Houndmaster with On Guard, which is pretty On Guard! Cool. On Guard. we got another tough Jester. And, okay. So we want uh, kind of all these guys, actually. Do you do any ranged skills? No, you don't. Okay. So we take Bellicote and Blasbeville. What a name. What a name. Take Blasbeville right off the bat. A lawman Tough his faithful beast. is good on almost every hero, basically. And bloodshed. Uh, but who do we get rid of for that? I guess Watteau is already better than that guy. Because he has Cove Explorer and Tough. So we don't need this other Jester. He's. He is redundant. He shouldn't need any Jesters. <laughs> the schedule. Useless. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check our item shop. That's good for a melee highwayman. We're not going to spend the money on it, though. Swift Cloak is okay. Actually, it's pretty dang good because speed is very good. All right, we don't have much um, to work with in terms of heirlooms, and we've got some trouble going on in Paradise. Right here in River City? Yep. I think we don't want you to have Ennui anymore. You do have... Okay. Ennui. Ennui. So we get rid of that. It's cheap. And we also... We're going to... No, you know what? It's 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 a meme now. Dismas <laughs> has had diarrhea for 21 weeks. <laughs> Let's keep it going. He's not even stressed, dude. He has zero stress. He has a hard noggin. He's quick reflexes. And he, he likes spends to his days on his phone on the toilet. <laughs> Just if I had watching diarrhea... everything he's eaten in the last 10 years vanish. <laughs> Dude, the runs, like, it, this doesn't even make sense, dude. He should have full-blown Ebola, like, if he's <laughs> shitting for 21 weeks. He's just fucking IVing himself, to, like, he's got a plague doctor on retainer, like. <laughs> yeah. And, Jaime, yes, I... <laughs> Just rename them all Hectokermes. Okay, we'll see. No, I was I was planning on doing that. The reason I have not yet is because the very thing we just saw, um, <laughs> losing people, and also because once I name a character, it's like naming a pet. I then won't want to dismiss them if they get afflicted and stuff. I want to wait until we have really dynamite characters and we also can afford to keep them that way and to heal them up and invest into them. And Are I wanna... you saying that you would get rid of a pet without any remorse as long as you hadn't named it? No, that's a fair point. <laughs> but it's different if I like, if there's a bunny rabbit and it like walks by me and I'm like, cool, we should hang out for a bit. And it's like, yeah, I could roll with you until you get bored of me or until I become so stressed out that I become masochistic. I don't know, like, Bill. From my you, experience buddy. with you, animals don't really like you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Mac warmed up to me eventually. Yeah, and then kind you of. betrayed. You just left him. I had to. I had something work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I had. I don't know. I don't mm. remember. Why did yeah, I? Leave? I know. I, I remember what you had, and then it didn't happen. So you abandoned him for nothing. <laughs> I came down for two days, and I had to be back for work. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It wasn't that. I'm sick of this sass. So, <laughs> quick quick recap. We've just completed episode, or, uh, week 21, episode 21. Ooh, I do like the feather crystal. That is mighty tasty. 
I think we're going back to the Warrens for a long mission. Let's see what else we've got, though. Mm, recovery is good. Mm, I don't want to fight any more bosses for a little while, so no, we're not going there. Blight Amulet's okay. Brawler's Gloves is pretty cool. Oh, the Brawler's Gloves and the um, Heavy Boots, if you put that on your um, Hellion in position one, yeah. it's insane. Like, so, so much damage. I don't think I have heavy boots yet. You'll find them. They start dropping like freaking hotcakes later. Yeah. We're going to go to the Warrens and we're going to do a feather crystal run. Get that. Because it's a nice filler item. It's just decent on a lot of heroes with not too much downside. I mean, the stun and the move resist is pretty shitty, but... Yeah. So that's going to be what we do next. We've upgraded. We've gotten our people from our stuff. We've checked the Nomad Wagon. So let's go ahead and get our party ready. Who are we taking, though? It's going to be a Dude, war. I've got, my, long. I've got my Vestal with 63% increased healing. Done. <laughs> with two of these trinkets. I mean, she gets stressed, like, instantly, but yeah. still, like, that's, that's a lot of healing boost. Yeah. We'll take Beset. We'll take more Tain, although you kind of shit the bed on that last mission a little bit there. I can't really say it's your fault, but we all know it It was. <laughs> I can't say it your, it's your fault, but uh, it was. It was. <laughs> Entirely your fault. And, and, it, uh, without, without doubt. Yeah, like, uh, we had a meeting. There was only one subject. It was a very short meeting. Like, you yeah. know... <laughs> I haven't found any of the quest items yet. It's kind of pissing me off. Huh. Quest. Uh. Oh, I should have done that. Who do we take? Hang sock. Yeah, we could take you. Lepers have been working out famously for us lately. <laughs> famously? Yeah. Gosh, just, you know, like, dancing on his grave, like, <laughs> oh, good job, leper, way yeah. to go. Meanwhile, the guy's family's like, I wonder if daddy's coming home this week. <laughs> that dude didn't have family. He, he's been awful sick. <laughs> We were hoping he'd get enough money to afford medication. Who would he marry that so. leper? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they were married before he became a leper, just saying. Like, that seems like a plausible, uh, you know, result. Nah, dude. Nah. Yeah, you're just trying to protect yourself from the guilt. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> um... Huh. I think we can afford to get rid of two accuracy. We'll have eight extra from the Hellion's hairpin. It's a pretty good item. Okay. Healing armlet. And sun ring. For you. Praise the sun. Yes. We'll go ahead and take the sun cloak for you. Right? Nah. We'll take the camouflage cloak. And then for the vestal. <laughs> and then. And then. <laughs> no, and then. Oh. Right, yeah, geez. we'll take we'll take the sun cloak for her. There we go. Okay, I like this. 
So this is what our party's gonna look like for this long mission on the Warrens. I think we should do a little bit of tweaking on some of these skills. Sounds like a smart thing to do. Yeah. Something usually too, te too, ah, too cheap to do. Very uncharacteristic of you to tweak spells. Unless you just mean pick different ones, but pick you're actually meaning spend a good amount of money on stuff. That's... Okay, well, that's going to wrap up this episode. What time is it? Almost one. Why don't I just get rid of my abominations? You really should. Like, <laughs> you maybe keep one in case you get some like really good gear for them. But other than that, like they're just not worth it. So once we get the good gear, they're gonna be. Yeah, these guys aren't that great though, honestly. The evasive one we might keep. The fressel, fressel. He's not very good. We can get rid of him next. You're on the chopping block, fressel. Okay. Try a team of four abominations. I have done that before. They're not very good because most of them can't do stuff unless they're in like the front two ranks. Yeah. But at least they just, who cares if they stress each other out? They're all going to hell anyway. You said it. All right. So that's going to wrap it up for episode 21. It was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> Uh, we lost our first party member, etc. You guys were there. I'm, why am I doing the recap on this? I'm just going to go. Yeah, we'll that. see you soon. Stay tuned for episode 22. Bye.